Hello, hello, hello. Thank you for jumping in, joining me. Getting ready to go live for an interview. So make sure you guys like and share the content. Thank you so much for being here and uh, just doing a quick audio check. Things sound good and uh, we'll get going in just a moment as you guys trickle in and share out the content. So I know you're here. Thank you for following me over on Twitch. Thank you guys for watching on Facebook as well. You guys are awesome. Always rolling in. Always saying hello. Thank you. Make sure you guys like and share. This is going to be about someone else, not about me. So like and share the content to help grow the streamer I'm about to interview. You guys are awesome for already jumping in and saying hello. Getting going hey, in about, listen. I don't know, 30 seconds or less. We got Jeezy. What's up, Jeezy? What's hey, up, Super listen. Nugs? Nuggies. Thanks for uh, popping in here. Doing the thing. All right. Everything seems to be running all right. It seems to be uh, no technical difficulties. So as you guys are popping in to share out the love to get everybody in here, why don't we go ahead and start it up. Today, in beautiful population one, it is sunny in our lovely area of Metropolis. You guys always bring me to Metropolis, it's great. My favorite place over there is Cemetery. Um, yeah, we got things nice and popping. You guys have been playing some Pop 1 today. I've been jumping in the streams and saying hello. Thank you, Mark. Always here, always a pleasure. All right. Hey. Today, today in Population 1, we've got uh, an interviewee waiting to share some big news with you. As you can see, the startup screen to the live screen changed just a bit. How did it change? Some of you may have caught it. Some of you may not have. Hey, listen! We have a logo change, guys. A little auto bear has changed his name to Otter Wolf. Hello, Otter Wolf. Hello. Hey. How are you? I am pretty good. What about yourself? I'm doing great. I just want to kick it off with the uh, big news of the name change, the logo change, and uh, we're just going to jump right into it. Tell me a little bit about, uh, let me get you in a good spot here to see this on uh, the screen. Otter Wolf. It was Little Otto Bear. Let's talk about this. So, honestly, Little Otto Bear is still always going to be part of it, just for the fact of, one, my nickname for Little Otto Bear was actually Otter. And to be honest, that was mostly, how do I put this in a nice way? Hey, Squeakers? Listen. <laughs> okay. They always mistaked Otto for Otter, and it's, okay. it's just stuck. And uh, the name, I've had the name for, oh, back in my Minecraft days of, like, 2010. Yeah, okay. And just felt like it was time to change it up. Perfect. Well, we got lots of people rolling in here already. So if you guys are in chat, make sure you say hello. Hey, I'm just going to roll listen. down the line here. So uh, we've already got Super Nugs in here, Jeezy in here. Devil's Reaper, my other half is in here. Mark Hurst, our regular goer, is in here. Uh, Alt, thank you for liking the stream. Barb Wire, hello. You guys, thank you so much for being so consistent and popping in every week, twice a week, sometimes more for these interviews. Super important to push. The content creator here in front of me, it was Little Otto Bear, now Otter Wolf. I don't want to be uh, confusing anybody. That's why we changed the logo for you. He's got his new name up here. And so, same thing. You're going to see that as a consistent change throughout. Where can we find you? 
I am on Twitch, Facebook, and that's about it right now, and TikTok. Okay. Uh, sitting at about... Yeah, TikTok. Okay. I'll have my new website up here probably in about a week. Perfect. And uh, will we find Otterwolf on all of those sites? Yes, you will. Perfect. So, you guys, that's how we search him now. We're looking for Otter Wolf, okay? All right. We're going to jump into this normal interview, as always. Lots of questions, a little fun game. By the way, do you have a favorite weapon at all? <laughs> favorite weapon? Yeah. And this is not me trying to cheat the weapons game, but do you know how hard it is to figure out what you like since you literally play with everything? <laughs> Yeah, well, and I don't, honestly, maybe you've been doing that the last couple of weeks just to mess with me, but uh, it's literally like every single game. I'm like, I'm even screenshotting it, trying to see if I'm missing something. It is a different wheel every game. Nothing is consistent. <laughs> well, honestly, it my favorite gun depends on my mood. Okay, all right, I get that. So... Honestly, bounces between the Magnum, minus the fact they nerfed it. Ugh, that one hurt a lot. <laughs> that yeah. one really hurt. Uh, yeah, the Magnum was one of my things, and now I'm like, ugh, do I pick it up? Do I bother? Ugh. <laughs> like, eh. Yeah, well... Is it worth the time? Yeah, well, we'll get to the weapons. We'll get to that. How about we just start with some basic questions, some interview questions that are really easy and get everything warmed up. Everyone in chat warmed up. As you guys are popping in, make sure you say hello. If you guys are over on Twitch, make sure you say something so I can let Otterwolf know that you're here. Are you ready? I am. Beautiful. All right, simple question. Where are you located? Uh, I'm actually in Missouri. Missouri or misery. <laughs> Stay to misery every day. Exactly. Okay. Um, and do you mind sharing what you do for a living outside of playing Population One? Uh, I'm actually a Walmart automotive tech. So nice. I do tires, oil, and other things on the side, not at the job. Okay. So, uh, if we're planning for a big move coming up and we have some, uh, I don't know, auto mechanic things to be looked at, could we stop on in and drive right through? <laughs> I mean, as long as I'm at work that day, I got you. I'll get you in and out in less than an yeah, hour. Yeah, sweet. All right. All right. Um, let's see here. Let's talk about Population One, the game. When did you start playing this favorite, wonderful game? Oh, I've been playing for, I'm coming up on about nine and a half months now. Nice, okay. So, uh, does that mean that um, you are a level 60 yet? I'm just trying to gauge what kind of sweat you are. <laughs> I, I am not a level 60 yet. Okay. Um, I believe I'm level 40 like 39 or 40 somewhere in that okay area. all right consistent with the time that you've been playing very good um let's talk a little bit about otter wolf i know that we already touched base on this but my question is is where did you come up with this name and what does it mean to you so one of my favorite animals are dogs uh, especially wolves so that's where part of that part came from Okay. But the otter part, as I touched on earlier, was a nickname I got from Little Otter Bear. Oh, very cool. Okay. Hey, All right. Listen. Hello, everybody in chat. If you guys are saying hello, like the bearded goat is popping in, and we've got uh, a few others. John, thank you for joining us. Welcome from, uh, let's see here, Brazil. Very cool. Um, we're here doing the interview with Otter Wolf. You guys can stick around. We're just going to ask about the experience of Population One, knowledge, gameplay, and uh, this content creator, and uh, have you guys like, follow, and share his content. So we're going to talk a little bit about uh, your name does not have any special acronyms or letters with it. Are you in a clan? Uh, not exactly. Not on Pop One side. Okay. 
I am outside of Pop One for uh, the other side of gaming. I do like Call of Duty and stuff like that. Just we haven't brought it over to Pop One yet. Okay, cool. So maybe a new clan that might be jo joining up in the, the Pop One world sometime? Quite possibly. Okay. Uh, just a matter of working out all the kinks and all that. Cool. And do you play with uh, the guys that you play or gals that you play with in Call of Duty? Do they also play Pop One? Uh, two of them actually just got a quest, so they were uh, swapping over from flat screen games to VR finally. Nice. It's only taken about six months of convincing. Yep, yep. Good job, though. We like um, that. Still, <laughs> still trying to convince the rest of them, but they're iffy on it. Okay. Hey! Ottawa? Psycho Turtle? I see you, Bones. Hello, hello. Uh, Otterwolf, do you play in any tournaments, or do you sub, or do you have any partake in any kind of competitive uh, play right now? Uh, right now, no. Um, I am planning on later in the future. Mm-hmm. Uh, still trying to work out uh, my skill level in Pop 1. Okay. All right. Um, well, you brought me over to your favorite part of the map. And uh, I'm, I'm getting spammed right now by messages. Let me quiet those down a little bit. <laughs> um, so you brought me over here to Metropolis on a specific building. Why is this your favorite spot right here? Why do you like this spot? So honestly, hey, my favorite listen. spot to drop is actually the sign right here in between the two buildings. Okay, right here. Right here. I almost landed on it. I've got to fling on and everything but okay your favorite spot why do you like this spot this is pretty cool it's pretty too <laughs> so one dropping right here as you're coming down you can see whoever's going over to apartments yep see whoever's heading towards kong okay and not just that as you know most people if you hot drop this is one of the first buildings you hot drop on if you're dropping from the pad right over there it is yep you drop right here you in between everybody say the ones over here on the right start fighting with these guys. Uh-huh. You drop down below, you grab weapons from down below, crawl up behind, and get them from behind. So you have easy access from all directions here. Gotcha. Okay. Correct. Very cool. Well, um, I'm going to pull up the map next to you. I know you won't be able to see it, but I promise it's right here. Um, <laughs> let's go ahead and check out the map and tell me, what part of the map do you wish would uh, maybe just go away just go away yeah Ooh. erase something for me erase something for you mm-hmm what would you erase I say planes planes okay we're talking this area here and uh, what's a great idea that you would tell big box to go ahead and stick right in there oh to stick right in there that's a good one mm-hmm so I'm thinking, you know how Metropolis got the skyscrapers and all that? Yeah. I'm thinking something like that, but in construction. Okay. All right. So maybe like, uh, another, got... like, complex or something, but maybe taller, higher? Taller and a little bit bigger. Okay. Very cool. Uh, any other ideas for the map that you've got there? I mean, for the most part, Big Box has been doing pretty good with the map. I agree, yeah. They they do a great job of doing uh, a lot of updates that are really annoying to get, but uh, then once <laughs> the final product comes out, you're like, hell yeah, look at this place. Everything is neon. I mean, you guys, look at this place. <laughs> we complained about uh, the water drums that used to be here and uh, refinery and all those empty buildings, and now we have this. How can you complain about that, <laughs> right? Honestly, and it's just beautiful over here. Yeah, it's very, it's very different from anything I ever imagined in this game. Once it popped in, I was like, wow. <laughs> Great job, guys. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, let's play the weapons loadout game. All right. Sound good to you? Yeah. Okay, so anybody in chat that is not familiar with Weapons Loadout, we basically go into a match, and uh, I guess what Otto, Otter Wolf's favorite weapon wheel is. That includes heals, 
shields, swords if that's part of it, and guns. Everything that would be in your favoritest, best choice of anything that you want and I have to try and match it. We go in with open chat so we can hear each other and then once we're done uh, loading up our wheel we chat about where we're gonna meet and then we drop our items in front of each other and see if they match up. See how bad I did. I am nervous about this one, not gonna lie, but uh, we're gonna give it a hard go, okay? All right. All right. What's up, J-Rod? Thanks for saying hello, popping in, doing the interview here with uh, Otter Wolf. Otter Wolf was formerly Little Otto Bear. So if you guys are wondering um, about the logo there, this is a new logo for him. And uh, that's how you're going to find him from now on. Where can we find you online, Otter Wolf? Uh, you can find me over on Twitch, uh, Facebook, obviously, and uh, TikTok. Perfect. So, and are you live right now? I am Facebook and Twitch right now. Lovely. So you guys know what to do. Go ahead and find him and make sure you guys are following, getting them notifications, and doing all of that smart, beautiful love stuff. All right. One thing that... Uh, I have two two samurai swords with me right now. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Here's the thing that we were talking about earlier. Um, not sure if it's still in there, but uh, I don't know if I want to keep it or no. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and uh, there it is. You guys see that? It's hidden in the desk. That's trippy. I need a backpack. Hey, backpack, come here. There we go. All right, so here's what we got, guys. I feel pretty good about these. We'll find out later if I'm wrong, but uh, I seem to, to see uh, Otter Wolf picking these up regularly. Crossing my fingers on that one. All right. Need some more backpacks. I feel like I'm running slow like a snail today. Alright, no backpacks back here. Of course not. Why would there be any backpacks for me? <laughs> Here's one. Alright. So, chat. This is one that I see on a pretty regular basis. Even though they've uh, adjusted and changed a little bit, I do see these um, regularly enough. I'm just not going to roll with it today. I have a feeling this might be one of them here. I'm not 100% sure either on this one. I don't know that I'm 100% on any, but here's one thing that I notice instead of the other one, he carries these. So I'd be curious if this ends up in his wheelhouse. We'll find out. All right, there's my other backpack that I just tossed and grabbed a CX-4 instead. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> All right, we're going to switch it out for some of these. I know he likes these. All right, let's see. I'm looking for a couple of very specific items to consider. We're going to go into gun store. How are you doing on your loadout? Uh, still hunting for a couple of things. Okay. Um, I'm picking up um, builds like I'm going to be building a fortress or something. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I am not feeling confident with any of this and what I'm looking for is not in here. So we are going to run over here and see if it's over here. Alright. You guys that watch Hotter Wolf are probably looking at my wheel right now saying... Oh my god, this might be the first time you get zero. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. He does actually run with these. I don't think they're very consistent, but uh, I've seen this one as well. Um, I've also seen these ones as part of his loadout as well. It's pretty much like I was saying earlier, like I literally cannot find a consistent measure of uh, weaponry that he goes with. So it's gonna be shady, man. Huh, here's another one. 
I actually feel like this one might be in the loadout. Shoot me if I'm wrong, which you'll probably do. <laughs> but I feel like I'm going to switch that out just like that. All right. Now I have to make the decision on uh, if I'm going to go with two guns or three. Who knows? I've seen like five guns in his wheel before. Very confusing. Uh huh. Yeah, that's probably what you have right now. Is that why you're laughing at me? No. Oh my god. I just horrible. know I'm very uh, inconsistent on my weapons. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's that's fair though. I like a good challenge. Inconsistency. Yep. Yep. I can't even find the one that I'm considering. So maybe that's a sign that I should just not grab it, but I'd really like to find it. Wow. I got some kind of Facebook chat going crazy in my headset. I'm sorry guys if you keep hearing that. I thought I minimized it, but it seems to be wanting to go crazy. And just so you guys know, it's probably one of our uh, streamer chats going off too, so wow guys, wow. <laughs> oh, All my right. phone's been vibrating for the past 10 minutes. Oh, you're probably getting the same ones then. Ooh, those are gorgeous. Aren't those gorgeous, chat? God. Mmm. Look at those. Woo-wee. Love it. Okay. I didn't mean to actually pick those up, but how can you not? All right. Where are you at? I am over by farmlands. I'm looking for one single thing. Okay, so am I. Did you hit the drop by chance? I did. Oh, well, sons of bitches. I'm not going to go there then. <laughs> <laughs> no point in that. Ugh, I can't find... I mean, find... it kind of landed right in front of my face, so... Yeah, so why not? That makes sense. Okay. Well, I am incredibly disappointed searching for one item that is just not showing up. I do see you in the air. I could have a clean shot at you right now, by the way. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. You guys, why can I not find this gun? Are you having trouble with the same gun is the question. That's... A possibility. Searching for the same one. Usually I'm done by now. Searching for you and dropping out my loads, but no. Instead I'm still searching. So, oh, I found it. Found it. Do, 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 do. Oh, forgot fling was on. All right, guys. Here's where I feel like I should drop this. This might be the biggest mistake, but... I feel like this is going to be in there. I feel like this is a, a pretty regular. I don't know if this is always paired with this. Maybe I made the mistake of uh, dropping the other weapon. Maybe I should keep that. Um, this is what the preference is on that one. This is a regular and this is a maybe. This is like <sighs> the first time I'm going into a loadout where I feel absolutely zero confidence. <laughs> I almost feel like maybe I should switch it out here. But this doesn't make sense. Gosh, you know. I'm Otter Wolf, searching I, for one thing and I can't find it. I don't think this is going to be a very good one. You're going to be incredibly disappointed with me. All right, where are you at? I am inside tower at the moment, searching for one weapon. Oh, those are beautiful. Did you find the gold Uzis? <laughs> uh, no, gold Maddies. Oh. <laughs> I did to chat Don't about those already. <laughs> Alright, inside tower. Oh, there you are. Ding, ding. Oh, those are pretty. Look at those. Shiny little friends. <laughs> I am searching for one weapon and I'm not finding it. Alright. I can't help you or you'll give it away, but it did take me a long time for me to find my last one. I could totally see you had something that I dropped it for, so I already know I got something wrong. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't say that just yet. 
Do, 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 do. <sighs> Come on. <laughs> oh. Sad face. I thought I'd seen it through the window and it wasn't. We could pretend that that's what it is. <laughs> I don't know if you're looking for something that happens to be over here in the park, but maybe over here. Oh, you can't see Mark. I don't know why I'm marking. There is one that I struggled to find over here at the picnic table, just so you know. Um. <laughs> Let's see here. Here is a gold AK on top of pop chicken. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Sorry, chat. I promise we'll uh, figure out this uh, weapon loadout game. <laughs> so we're trying to find our last well, items. I think I'm good to go. Uh, it's just a matter of you. <laughs> the, we're going to pretend on this one. I got gotcha. you. Perfect. All right. All right. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> on my way. Oh, yeah. By the way, flings on. <laughs> okay. Okay. Here we go, guys. Um, this is going to be like the worst loadout ever. Are you ready for this? All right. I'm ready. Okay. So I noticed that you do not carry shields very often in your wheel, but I went with shields anyway, and I went with cans, not shakers. What do you say? Got shields in there? Oh, you went with shakers. You... Okay. Poo. Here we go. All right. Heels. I went with bananas, not cans. You got some of those in there? At least give me that. Whew. Thank God, guys. I, I got one right. One. Okay. At least I didn't get all of them wrong. Okay. This is one that I wasn't sure about. I see that you pick them up regularly enough. I felt like this could be possibility. I went with some frag grenades. What do you got? Any of them? Any nades? Any zones? No. Nope. No. Okay. Shit. Next one, <laughs> guns that I probably oh. mega failed on. You mentioned the Maggie. I went with the Maggie. Do you have the Maggie? Yay! Oh, look at that beautiful beast. Love it. Okay, got a gun right. Thank goodness. As uh, they did, they did nerf the Magnum to the point where it's like, ugh. but you know, once you fall in love with it, it's hard to not give it a shot over and over again. So. The next, yeah, the next gun I went with, I swapped it out. I actually had an ump. I went with a P90. Unbeknownst to me whether or not you even like the gun, I couldn't tell, but in the wheels that I saw you running with in three different streams, you had the P90. Do you have the P90? This is the fill-in for the P90. Ooh, you did get the gold AK. It's a beautiful beast. <laughs> okay, okay. And the last item that I went with that took me forever to find was the op. I wasn't sure. I don't feel like this was like a good guess, but I could have picked up the Maddies instead, which seemed to be in your loadout often as well. What's yours? Well, that, that would have been a 50-50. Mm -hmm. If I'm having a great day, I will. I, I'd be going for the ump. But oh, you I grabbed the ump. The ump and the RFB. Okay, let's get over here into. Uh, hurry up, get over here into zone. Okay. <laughs> was not ready for that. Uh huh. I know you weren't. <laughs> Thanks, Zone, for helping me out there. <laughs> All right. Some shout outs, guys. Thanks for popping in the stream. <laughs> I'm here interviewing Otter Wolf. 
Thanks for joining me in the weapon loadout game. I did terrible. We're going to talk a little bit more about these weapons now and uh, share a little bit more about Otter Wolf. So we've got shield shakers, bananas. Thank goodness I didn't hang on to that samurai. But other than the magnum, I got everything else wrong. You hey, like the RFB? Listen. I should have stuck with the ump. Dang it. And the AKM. <laughs> So, um, lots of weapon combinations here. Tell me a little bit about the choices that you make. So, a big play in what weapons I go with is who I play with, my teammates. Um, it also depends on my mood. So, if I'm feeling, like, overly happy, I, I'm, I'm gonna be sitting there Thanks with a sniper. For those stars, tr so trying to get them long range shots okay kind of been kind of messing around with the trick shots like 360s and all that yeah sniper but still not very good at those yet okay and uh what um, is your choice of sniper do you stick with the magnum or do you go with a different um like an op or something because i have seen you run with the op fairly comfortably so my go-to if i can is a purple or gold magnum. Okay. That's that's my all-time go-to over any op, except for a gold op. If I get my hands on a gold op, I'll go with that over the magnum. Okay. Or run both. The op and the magnum together. It's a scary combo. That is a scary combo. Like, I'm, yeah, I can see that being very scary if you're very proficient with them. And uh, you can use the Magnum up close if you're really good at it. I, I used to be. Not so much anymore. <laughs> well, Thanks, big box. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, let's talk about, um, do you have any weapon secrets? Any of these little guys have any uh, special things that you can teach me? Any special things that I can teach you? Mm. Yeah. Pretend well, like I, I don't know what honest. I'm doing. <laughs> like, like you don't know what you're doing. Yep, yep. Teach me something. Teach you something. What's All that right. Face? So this right here. Yep. This is an MP5. MP5. Yep. It is a miniature AK-47. Is the best way to put it. Okay. I've heard this one so before, it, but tell me why, because I don't know. Because you don't know. All right. Well, one, in my opinion, is a little bit better than the AK, just for the fact the fire rate's a little faster. Okay. And the recoil's a little bit easier to control. Hey, listen! But it is honestly one of the most, in my opinion, most used guns I've seen in pop okay. one in my... Except for me. <laughs> I do not Except pick up that you, thing. Yeah. I look at that, it'll be gold, and I'll be like, <laughs> over here! <laughs> That's how Yoshi is. He's like, no, I don't want it. Don't yeah, me. yeah. Why? It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> okay what's up sly and spot over there on twitch hey guys yeah we're here with otter wolf also known as little auto bear but never anymore now otter wolf so uh yeah we're here we're talking about weapons right now any special secrets with it though that you can help me like use it better uh well because it's like spray confetti when i use it it's ridiculous <laughs> Not quite. And not, not unless you count like fire confetti. Yeah, hey, well, it's listen. pretty bad. The, oh, that's all I know. <laughs> yeah. So, Stink fist, I like that. One, <laughs> flying and shooting one handed with it's pretty steady. After about eight to nine bullets, it levels out more. Okay. Where it's almost a. You just aim, you shoot, wait till it levels out. You got a perfect laser. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess I'm going to have to spend some more time with it, because we have a hate-hate relationship. We haven't even got to the love part. <laughs> Good stuff, that though. That is me with this gun <laughs> most of the time. All right, so is this your least favorite weapon? Because that's my next question, actually. Honestly, I have a tie between the FAL and the MK. Yeah, the MK, yeah. I, I recently started picking it up when you two-hand it. It's actually not incredibly bad. Like, just so you guys know, if you're willing to put in a little bit of patience with it, I mean, 
I have been trying to two-hand it a little bit. Nobody, nobody needs to clip that. <laughs> <laughs> so, in my whole career, I've gotten like three kills with the MK18. Okay. And I still have those three kills memorized. It was a customs match. Two of them were VR Dan Dan, and uh -huh. the other one was Raging Handicap. Really? Nice. That's okay. my own, only three times I've gotten a kill with it. I mean, I mean, that's pretty impressive. I think, uh, I mean, I, anytime I can get anywhere near killing Raging Handicap, uh, that's amazing. <laughs> that was my one time and one only of ever killing him. He, All right. He is a tough goat. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he does not, uh, he, he is definitely relentless, and he does not, uh, hold back, that's for sure. Um, what about your weapon wheel? When you load out, do you organize it? I'm gonna be honest, you've seen enough of my streams, and anyone else that has, <laughs> you've seen me organize my wheel once in a blue moon. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I appreciate that. <laughs> I do. Whereas other people are like, oh my god, that's a dirty mess in there. Please do something about it. No, no, no. <laughs> I appreciate throwing weapons in and going. <laughs> I got the muscle memory right. bed down packed, and I told uh, Omega Havocs that I was going to work on it, and I've tried, and I literally, like, every single time, I'm like, ugh. <laughs> like, ugh. What's up, Bucky? <laughs> hey, guys. Thanks for popping in. I'm not uh, chatting too much, so go ahead and chat to each other. I'm here uh, interviewing Otter Wolf. Uh, let's go ahead and give a shout-out real quick, Otter Wolf. Where can we find you online so everybody in my chat can go over to you? You can find me over on Facebook, Twitch, and TikTok. And you are live right now on... Facebook and Twitch. Beautiful. All right, guys. Do the love thing. Jump on over. It's totally okay with me. Uh, let's talk about uh, any weaknesses that you have to share. As you've been playing for about nine months now, uh, you've probably learned a lot about the game, but uh, you may have a lot to learn still. So what would you say is your weakness that would allow me to come up and get you down faster? Uh, honestly, one of my biggest weaknesses is those professional builders out there. The ones that are flying and building and pushing you and shooting at you all at the same time. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> the uh, very highly competitive ones that are scary. <laughs> yes, the yeah, very, okay. very scary ones. Agreed. <laughs> That's super funny. Um, honestly... I personally don't know many of my weaknesses as I'm still learning them. Sure. So, one of the biggest ones I still see is if you put me up against someone with a shotgun, nope, I'm out, I'm dead. <laughs> no shotguns for you, except is. for maybe Maddie's, right? Uh, hey, if I got Maddie's, I'm happy, but someone comes at me with a shotgun, especially the DT-11, I don't know mm -hmm. what it is about that gun, it just mm -hmm. scares the ever-living crap out of me like rad fox with a dt in your face it's like okay i give up <laughs> i'm done just, just stuff, done let me run <laughs> right i <laughs> get you um what about let's talk a little bit about the content that you make how long have you been streaming oh so my very first stream was actually back in 2019 I want to okay. say, mm -hmm. early 2019, uh, it was actually over on Twitch, my very first stream ever. Okay. What were you streaming? Um, Call of Duty. Nice, okay. And, uh... uh it was Call what, of Duty. What brought you over hey, to, uh, Pop hey, One? Uh, to be honest, it was Yoshi. He, okay. he was the start of it. Um... He looked at me one day after he got his quest, and he went, hey, try this game. I'm like, okay, I'll try, but I might get sick since it's in VR. Went, Did oh, you no, get you sick? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I played for about 30, 40 minutes and was a little nauseous, but not too bad. Okay. Did you like it when you first started? 
It was interesting at first. It really intrigued me. Um, okay. It was the second time I started playing, and that was my first, like, actual match that I played. It wasn't just the training grounds and all that and trying to learn it. Yeah. And I actually got a one, like a win on my first game. Nice. Okay. And then you were like, did you go to bed that night, like, dreaming about it and wanting more? Did it take you a while to, like, get back in it? Or did you uh, just become obsessed right away? It wasn't quite a full obsession right away. It was about a week later. I was like, you know what? I need to buy a quest now. And this next <laughs> month, I'm buying it. No fans of butts. <laughs> Nice, nice. And you jumped into the VR world and joined us. Well, I'm glad you did because you're creating content now that we can watch and enjoy. You have a great personality, very cheerful when you're on stream. I appreciate that. Um, but also, uh, you've got a lot of different games that you play as well. So what are some of the other VR games that you tap into? So I tap into Beat Saber a lot. Mm -hmm. um, Normally, anytime you see me playing Pop One now, you're either gonna see me start off my stream in Beat Saber with a few games as a warm up for my arms, mm -hmm. or you're gonna see me finishing out with Beat Saber. Okay. Um, I've played a little bit of Contractors. I'm still getting hey, the hang listen. of getting that one to stream without lagging too much on my computer. Okay. Mm-hmm. And there might be a little stream of Among Us in VR later tonight. Be my first one with Among Us. Yay! That would be awesome. I might join you. <laughs> hey. uh, all right. Well, let's talk about uh, why do you stream? Why do you share content? Honestly, I, I just enjoy showing hey, people listen. the different ways to play games, not your casual tryhards that are all about winning everything. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. show them the enjoyments and the fun you can have in the games. Very cool. Uh, how would you, how do you pick your teammates? Uh, does it depend on whether or not you're streaming? Uh, would you run with noobs? Do you like to play with, uh, squeakers? Uh, what is your preference and how do you pick your teammates? Honestly, majority of the time I play, one of my main teammates is actually Yoshi. Uh, mostly for the fact me and him know how to play with each other without communication. Like, we know how to pull plays together. Other than that, our third person is always a pickup. Okay, a pickup, and uh, basically you drop into the lobby and you get provided who your third is. Is that right? Correct. Okay. Uh, any preferences on who that third is? Like, do you hope for a certain type of age or personality or certain uh, level? What are you hoping for when that third pops in? Uh, honestly, I'm not hoping for much because I'm very, like, very happy to teach people how to play games. Okay. So, uh, you'd um, play with a noob, like, wanting to learn more, and you'd would you stick with them? Or uh, do you play with them and then, like, drop in and hey, have a brand new listen. third? Uh, it, it's one of those, if they add me and they want to keep playing, I'll, I'll keep playing with them. It doesn't bother me any. Awesome. Well, and, and that's something that is reflected in your in your stream. If uh, everybody in chat is interested in watching Population One with just a little positive vibe, uh, Otter Wolf is your guy. Like he literally does just have this. Uh, and I don't know if you already know this about you or if it's been shared with you before, but it's just this like happy aura about you when you're playing. You're like carefree, go lucky, but you're also a really good player. Um, and I've seen you pick up new people and you're very kind to them. You're not frustrated with them very often, although I have seen a little bit of frustration shine through at times. Um, but yeah, there's just this light level of gameplay. Um, and I would call you like a, a, a low level sweat right now. I think you're warming up to being a pretty uh, beefy player. So I don't know, have, have you uh, felt that you've been getting better or do you feel like uh, you see uh, some competitive gameplay in your near future? Uh, I do think I am getting better as the time goes on. Mm -hmm. uh, practice makes the best. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, uh, the variety of weapons that you choose, that's going to make you even you know a better player by being able to be versatile in just about anything you run by. So that's, that's a bonus. Um, 
what do you think just like in general about your gameplay and your growth and i mean when you look at nine months you would think that somebody has like the ability to play the game well by now but uh you are exceeding that bar just by watching how you are strategic in gameplay so is that something that you're moving towards it's kind of like uh watching different players and like kind of what what's your strategy on becoming a better player Honestly, the biggest strategy is throughout everyone I've played with in Pop 1, I've taken something of their gameplay and applied it to myself in use. That's what I'm talking about! <laughs> See? You're uh, like, you're a great community member in this game, and that's what <laughs> I'm trying to get to here, is like, you guys, this guy is awesome. I don't know if you know this guy. If you don't know him well enough, you don't pop into his streams well enough or often enough. This is that positive vibe we keep saying, like, the community is great. The community is great. <laughs> if I could, like, capsulate all of that into a person, um, this is where I fall. So, I mean, I'm just trying to give you the hugest compliment right here is, like, uh, you encompass that positive community vibe that we all love about population one so you know i'm just gonna say thank you <laughs> so it's awesome hey, um listen. let's talk a little bit about your skin right now you are wearing our uh, beautiful pirate lady what is your earliest skin legendary skin uh what's your favorite uh my earliest legendary skin I'm trying to remember the name of it now <laughs> Hi, Eric. Hi, Paula. Hi, John. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Hi, Bong. Bong. <laughs> Dolores, Tran, Adarsh, Stephanie. Uh, thank you guys all for liking the stream. We're talking about uh, Population 1 skins right now. Do you remember which one you're, you're thinking of or what it looks like? I cannot re Is the Cyber PJ a legendary one? Uh, I mean, yeah, it's not, uh, it's, I guess you can find it in the shop, but if that one's your favorite, let's call that one your favorite. Oh, actually, my favorite? I'm in right now. The Pirate Lady. Awesome. And this was a, a more recent one from, uh, just before Halloween. Very cool, um, with the, paired with the skeleton one, our captain. Um, if you could create your own skin, ask Big Box right now. What would you ask for? What would I ask for? Mm-hmm. Ooh. Honestly, I'd ask for more on, like, a half-cyborg, half-human, like, Terminator, almost. Okay. Very cool. I could totally see them doing that. I could totally see them doing that with, like, uh, like a Roy. Um, they do really well. Or even bring... Um, they kind of did it a little bit with Bianca. Um, but yeah, like, yeah, if they want a little more cyber or cyberpunk, that would be cool. Thanks for that yes. follow, guys. Um, okay. Well, let's talk about, uh, if you were a noob today, okay? So you've got Otterwolf, and then you've got noob Otterwolf. Talk to your brand new self. What's something that you would teach a brand new player today, learning right now, most important thing that they need to know? What would you tell, tell them? Uh, a very wise player once told me, keep pushing, hey, keep charging listen. after someone. Eventually, they will get distracted or run out of builds, and you'll be able to kill them. Nice. Just keep pushing. Push, push, that was push. Devil's Reaper. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. That's all he, that's how he plays, too. <laughs> that, that was the biggest and most important thing he's taught me, was just keep pushing. Yep. Very cool. Well, shout out to Devil's Reaper. I know you're in here, babe. There you go. <laughs> uh, let's talk about your stats. Do you know what your stats are? Are you willing to share with us? Uh, give me one second. I have them on my phone. Perfect. If you guys want to follow I... Otterwolf, he's live right now on Facebook and Twitch. You can find him O-T-T-E-R-W-U-L-F. This is a new logo uh, moved over from his older name, Little Otto Bear. 
and uh, it's Otter Wolf now. So please address him as hey, Otter Wolf. Listen. <laughs> Waiting for stats when he's ready. Thanks for those likes, guys. Inusa and T, uh, thank you guys for being here. Pramod, thank you for following. I appreciate it. Make sure you guys are liking and sharing the content. It's not about me here. It is here about Mr. Otter Wolf. Oh my goodness, it's Happy Nike Thailand. Hello. I know that uh, you were streaming earlier. I caught you a couple times. Thank you so much for uh, sharing your content as well. Good stuff, you guys. You guys should follow Happy Nike Thailand. Dude puts out some really funny and good stuff. All right, you ready for those stats? I am. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's uh, let's share. Uh, what is? Are you going to share your uh, uh, up to date or career? What do you want to share? Uh, I'm just going to do my overall career. Career. Perfect. Right now. Let's do that. Go ahead. All right. So in total, I have I've played 565 games. Okay. Uh, 82 wins out of that. Mm-hmm. I have 668 kills. Uh, average damage is 298, with a win rate of 14.5 and an average kill of 1.2. Perfect, awesome. Well, and uh, Devil wants to say thank you, Wolf. Uh, he tries. <laughs> he says thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, so beefing up uh, your gameplay happened to be, I'm sure, the rank place, uh, placement. So when that came out, everybody had to step up their game a little bit. Even if you weren't a competitive player, there was a little bit more uh, higher level uh, that required you to jump into the game and feel motivated. Uh, so my question would be, did you like the rank placement system or not? Would you like to see it come back? So, I wouldn't mind if it came back, but as a separate game mode. Okay. So that um, is a like very consistent either... message I keep hearing is make it a mode. Make it a choice. Yes. Uh-huh. Make it where you could either choose ranked mode or casual. Mm -hmm. like, because for me, yes, I played a lot harder during it, but I also... I got angrier faster because it was just more and more... That you kept putting into it. Yeah, exactly. I feel ya. <laughs> there were times that I liked it. It was fun. There's times and a lot of times that I didn't like it. Um, because I just, I wanted people to stop being so angry. <laughs> I'm like, stop yeah. being so angry. <laughs> and just hot drop once with me. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so if it came back as a mode, would you choose to play in it? Or would you uh, likely choose pubs regular pubs instead i would probably play 50 50 okay regular and ranked okay split between my time very cool all right well uh let's talk about pop one has it had an effect on you since you started playing has it helped you personally uh yes and no i mean it's a hey, great way for listen. like after you coming home from work and all that, great game to play and relax. Yeah. I know that uh, you uh, you connect with your uh, but... roommate through it, right? Yes. Uh huh. <laughs> and uh, who is who is your roommate? That'd be Yoshi. Yeah. Uh, Yoshi Bear the Floof. Yep. You guys were in the last interview that I did. Yoshi Bear the Floof. That is uh, this guy's roommate, so hey, super cool listen. connection there. What's up, lady? Um, how about let's let's talk about some lighter subjects. Let's get to know you as a person, hey, Otter listen. Wolf, and uh, maybe ask some uh, favorite questions. Are you comfortable with that? Go ahead. Let's do it. Uh, what is your favorite food to eat? Favorite food to eat. Now we talk in all time or while playing in VR? Oh, let's do both. Hey, listen. All right, all time. Mm, I could always go for some Mexican food. Me too. High five. Oh. Mexican food number one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Favorite food in VR? Favorite food for when I'm playing VR would have to probably be 
either ramen noodles or Doritos. Nice. Doritos. Cheesy Doritos? Uh, nacho cheese or the uh, Cool Ranch. Oh my god, what do your controllers look like? They're actually spotless minus one little black mark on my left one. Okay, yeah, I do have a couple of black marks uh, new on mine, I think, from running into walls. Um, yep. I gotta tell you that uh, for the first time the other night, I actually ate pizza while playing VR. <laughs> uh, Wesley Snipes would be completely disgusted by this, but yes, I actually picked up a piece of pizza and tilted my head slightly up and ate pizza while I played. It was so delicious too. <laughs> and I would totally do it again. And my controllers are clean, guys, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is your favorite holiday, Otterwolf? Uh, favorite holiday is honestly between probably 4th of July and Christmas. Okay. And uh, what's the difference between the two that you like so much? Well, 4th of July, I get to have fun blowing stuff up. Okay, yeah. Pretty colors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and okay. Christmas, uh, more or less just family time. Okay, so a uh, family guy here. I like that. Okay. Uh, what about uh, when you have time to watch some TV? Do you have a favorite movie or TV series or something that you like to watch? Hey, listen. So I do have a favorite movie and I do have a favorite TV series. Okay, let's talk about those. My all-time favorite movie is hey, actually, uh, it's called Twister. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and that's, uh, actually one of Devil's Reaper's favorite? <laughs> Believe it or hey. not? Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, what about TV shows? Uh, it would be Lost in Space, but it's the new one Netflix came out with, not the old version. Okay, very cool. And, uh, it's on Netflix? Yes, the other okay. one... I do have another, and this, this is because it's tattooed on my leg, too, which would be Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. Did you happen to see Wesley Snipes' stream today? I did not see his stream today, but I did mm -hmm. see that he was working on Rick as an avatar. Yeah, so uh, you should, guys, and everybody in chat, if you like hey, Rick and Morty, listen. go back to see Wesley Snipes, uh, his stream from today, just earlier. He just finished it not too long ago. If you guys like Rick and Morty, <laughs> it was funny. You would like it. I promise <laughs> it won't disappoint. <laughs> it was pretty good. All right, that's all I'm saying about that. You guys have to go watch it. <laughs> what about uh, furry critters? Do you guys have animals? Do you have a pet? Uh, I do. Um, so me and Yoshi hey, actually have listen. two dogs. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them is Prada. That is my little princess that gets whatever she wants. <laughs> and then her brother, hey, which is uh, Louis. Mm -hmm. uh, full name is Louis Vuitton. Aww. But that is Yoshi's dog. Okay. <laughs> um, he babies him sometimes, most Aww. of the time. <laughs> so Waiting for cute. him to kick me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it! Don't do it, Yoshi! <laughs> uh, Alright, let's get into some questions that I have to guess that I'll probably guess wrong because uh, I've been uh, running, uh, I don't know, probably about 0% on these guesses lately. So, uh... I'm going to guess whether I think that you drink, prefer coffee, energy drink, tea, or soda. And, uh, hmm, you know, I'm not going to go with a stereotype or, or assumption that you like the same thing as Yoshi. I feel like that's a possibility, but feel like I should be saying energy drink here or something like that. I'm just going to go out there and say tea. That's one of them. Oh, okay. All right. What else? What else do you prefer? Uh, energy drinks and uh, hey, sweet tea, actually. Listen. Okay. So, go -to so my guess wasn't too far off. I felt like maybe I should go there and I just didn't have the balls to do it, but there it is. Hey. <laughs> Speaking of balls, that that's wrong. I'm going to not go there. We'll ask that <laughs> question later. 
<laughs> uh, let's talk about uh, if you warm up in population one. When you're jumping in, you're jumping in rather into uh, without streaming or with streaming, do you warm up? Do you hit a certain mode like TDM or war or something to warm up? Do you go into bot battles? Or do you just dive right in like a crazy dude? I just dive right in. All right. So no, no warm up for you. Dive in and just go for it. Your warm up is your first game. Accurate? Yes. Awesome. <laughs> uh, the next question I'm going to ask is if you rage quit or not, but I'm going to guess. And I just, the, the answer is a hard no. Like, it's just a hard no. <laughs> Do you rage quit? No. Okay. I actually never rage quit a game except for once in my life. Mm -hmm. And that's when I was learning how to play Call of Duty against my sister. Okay, there you go. Well, um, I can't imagine that you would rage quit. Um, are you affiliated on Twitch? I am. You should totally do a uh, channel point fake rage quit. <laughs> hey, I think that That's would be awesome. Idea. I know, right? Because it's just not in your personality. I think you should just like... <laughs> Put it on there and see what happens. You can always remove hey, it. Listen. Put it on there and I will come in, earn enough points, and I will use it. And I just want to watch you do it because it would just be hilarious. <laughs> I just don't know how you would do it. Like, oh, damn it. <laughs> Make it really dramatic, though, okay? <laughs> Make it and that really means, dramatic. Yeah, really dramatic. I want you to, like, hey, you know, be careful. Listen. Don't, like throw your headset or anything but uh just like be really like oh my god i can't do this anymore Ugh. Hey, <laughs> yeah yeah listen. i will totally be in there do it <laughs> everybody in chat gotcha. you guys gotta start watching him over on twitch and getting your points now you can see otter wolf rage quit <laughs> i can't make a promise you guys that's up to him don't worry it's up to him he he has to choose to do it it would just be funny <laughs> Um, maybe it's an un uncomfortable question to ask. If it is, you can say several of them. Who is your favorite streamer to watch? Uh, favorite streamer. Well, this one, I haven't really seen him stream. He's more of a content creator. Okay. But Nito. Oh, yeah. I've recently started watching uh, the stuff that he puts out there and uh, talking to him a little bit more in chat when he shows up. Um, what do you like about his content? Honestly, it, he's just a very positive person, with, mm -hmm. especially in the whole, if you don't know how to do something in the game or dealing with the game, he is right there to help. Yep. I've noticed. Yeah, super positive guy. He runs with a lot of the same people, and uh, I always see him running with one of our streamers, like, who are they playing with? Oh, that's Nito. Hey, <laughs> so, yeah. And uh, when I do see him, I do fear him in the lobby, so he's a pretty decent player, too. Like, he's he's one to be reckoned with. <laughs> yes. So, mm -hmm. um, let's talk about your... Um, collaboration on being able to stream is there anybody that you would like to thank that has helped you put together your stream work out technical difficulties gives you the time and the patience uh, whether it be somebody in real life or somebody in our VR world that has helped you is there anybody you want to thank uh, I got a couple uh, one of them is Yoshi for the constant support mm -hmm. and all the help that I haven't been able to figure out. Um, another one would be uh, Samachi. He's mm -hmm. actually helped me with a lot on the VR side that not many people mess with, hey, like the whole listen. Avatar stuff. Yeah. Not many people mess with that stuff. And he's he sat down the other day with me for two and a half, three hours to help me get it all set up and working properly. Did he? Did you mention to him that you had an interview with me? I did, but I believe he is taking a nap right now. Well, I was just going to say, I've nudged him for an interview with him, and he nudged back, and he was like, yeah, I'm interested, and then I didn't hear back from him, so it made me sad. But if you chat with him, just uh, happen to mention that there's a lot of people asking for Sumachi interview. A lot of people are asking, so... Um, it's not for me, this being this little peewee tiny streamer here. It's for 
the people that are asking, I want him to do an interview with me. That would be great. I'm going to use you, Otter Wolf. I'm going to use you. <laughs> I have no shame. <laughs> Anybody else you hey, would like to think? I know. I'm not going to be um, shameful in this. This is about sharing content creation. And there's so many people asking for him. I feel like it. I have to push for it. So I'm pushing. Pushing. <laughs> Anybody else? <laughs> uh, the virtual samurai, he's helped out with a lot of things. Mm -hmm. That me and Yoshi has figured out, and uh, that we've been figuring out, and still working with on. True. Um, like the whole dual screen streams on each other's channels. Cool. I didn't uh, know. Was, yeah, was, that stuff is sticky. <laughs> it, it was rough at first learning how to do it all, but once he gave us like a steady step through step what to do, it was it was a breeze getting set up. Okay. Very cool. Do you guys, uh, do you and Yoshi share the same game space? Do you guys have separate game spaces? Uh, we do share the same game space. Okay. So uh, let's talk a little bit about that setup. So your setup, hey, what does listen. it entail? You talked about an avatar. Talk all about uh, what your setup looks like and how you stream. All right. Well, I am hey, running a listen. Ryzen 7 3700X with... 32 gigs of RAM and a 2060 uh, with a M.2 and a SSD, both 500 gigs. Mm -hmm. um, dual monitor setup. I do have a Blue Yeti mic or, or the Blue Snowball, not the Yeti, my bad. The okay. Blue Snowball mic for when I do my flat screen streams. And then I have two 1.0 base stations with. Uh, three 2.0 Vive trackers with the uh, Trackstrap Pluses. And that that's to bring in the avatar with the whole full body. Yeah. And then I have the Quest 2, which might be getting upgraded here soon. Okay. What are we thinking about as an upgrade? Hey, listen! I, I kind of want to wait a little bit longer and see if Index comes out with, like, an Index 2. Yeah, okay. I really want to, but I don't know if they are yet. I still feel like it might be a year off. Okay. Does your Quest 2 need an update? Uh, no, it's still doing pretty good. It's just to bring in the whole full body into the Quest side. Yeah. I run several additional programs on my computer just to bring them in. And a simple just hitting the power button on the side of my headset, I have to restart the whole setup. Okay. Well, that's kind of, yeah. So, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's difficult. I don't like that at all. I, uh, I, I run with uh, one monitor, and when I stream on Steam, which is newer because of the newer games coming out for me, uh, I'm not a seasoned streamer. Everybody knows this. I'm fairly new to this. Hey, and uh, I, I only have one screen, so when I stream on Steam, uh, I can't see my chat. I can't see what's going on. It's It's really irritating, so, like... An upgrade for me would just be an, another monitor. <laughs> but uh, you guys in these interviews are always spouting out all of this stuff that I'm like, what in the heck processor and <laughs> X, Y, Z, W, what? <laughs> so uh, the fact that you guys are willing to learn about uh, all of the technical things that go into streaming, hey, it really is simple to stream but it really becomes complicated when you start to realize how big you can make it. So um, bravo to the avatar, it looks great, and I can't wait to see it as it starts to grow and you start to get comfortable with it. So good choices there. Um, anything else about your stream setup that you wanna share? Um, I mean, there's not much, minus okay. I'm running, hey, let's listen. see how many programs right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus yeah. top one. Sounds sounds about right. Hey, Isn't that crazy? Listen. What is up, Common Ground? Hello. Hello. Uh, are you back from vacation yet? How many more days? Can't wait for you to get back. <laughs> Austin, hello. Um, let me just run down the list real quick, Otter Wolf. I think it's important for you to know who's here watching you. Some of the names that I won't be able to pronounce, hey, I apologize. Um, I don't want to slaughter it. I would give it a shot, but I would just really make everybody laugh. Um, <laughs> Austin, Naman, hey, uh, Pamela, Common Ground Gaming is here. Nugent is here. Uh, Kya, 
I don't want to go there. Uh, Kwong, uh, Kyle, Aisha, hello, you guys. Fong, I mean, I've got a lot of names that I can't pronounce. Natalie, thank you for being here. Bonnie, giving the best shout outs that I possibly can as you guys are uh, in Bong, Bong Sarah. I like that. <laughs> um, lots of people in here, Ottawa, hey, looking listen. at your content um, right now, looking at your interview. Hopefully you guys are jumping over. He is live right now on Facebook and Twitch. If you guys can just make sure you're going over there to do the same thing you do here. Give him the view. Hang out a little while. Say something in chat. Hit those likes, the loves, the happy faces, all that jazz, and then make sure you share the content and hit the notifications so that you guys can find out when Otter Wolf goes live. And uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, when you're playing Pop 1 and you're making that special choice to hot drop or pod. How do you make your decision when you uh, hit the platform, hot drop or pod? 99% of the time, as of most recently, I prefer to hot drop or quick pod. Okay. And uh, any favorite places that you like to do that? Uh, over there in Metro, over by I figured. Uh, apartment. Yep. I figured that, that one. Right there, there's four buildings. Yep. That one, you see me hot drop every time. Okay. Um, another. That's how you kill them, Another guys. very big hot drop for me <laughs> is uh, Kingdom. Okay, you like the Kingdom. Do you like the Witch's Tower side, I... or do you like the top side? What side? Uh, drop straight to the top. Hey, okay. Listen. Very good. All right. Um, ooh, super important question, Otter Wolf. When you're playing VR, do you wear boxers, briefs, or go commando? Hey, listen. Uh, I actually get... That's like a 50-50 between <laughs> commando and boxer briefs. Okay. <laughs> Choices between whether outside and whether or not the AC is working. <laughs> Thanks for that Pretty follow, much. Robert. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, so another sticky question, or maybe not, but if it is, you can always name more than one. Who is the best Pop 1 player in your opinion today? Today at this moment, I would have to tie it between... Nito and Samachi. Mm -hmm. They both have very high skill levels. I am scared to play against both of them. Okay. I've killed both of them at least once. Oh, you uh, have. I, I can say that, but nice. But I'm still very scared of them. Okay. I have not gotten anywhere near that level of sweat, but uh, nice work. <laughs> um, all right. We're down to our last question of the interview. So I encourage every, everybody in chat right now, if you haven't already, to go over to Otter Wolf and make sure you like, follow, and share the content. Uh, the question that I have for you is, do you have a proudest achievement or moment in Pop 1? Do you have a moment where either you met the best person in the world, um, that you killed everybody in the lobby, whether it be in a different mode or in pubs, or hey, is, is there a moment listen. or a person or an achievement that you made that you want to share? Uh, my biggest achievement hey, would probably listen. be my first time making it above 20 kills, and I got 21 kills, mm -hmm. and we won the match. Okay, dang! You got above 20? Yes, it was my very first time, uh -huh. and it's the only time I've done it too. I've I've tried and tried and tried. I've yet to get back up. Was there. it was this in squads too? Yeah. Wow. Hey, Dang. Listen. Okay. Sweaty mixed sweat here. <laughs> Thanks for those follows, you guys. Um. Wow. Okay. So, like, explain that to me. Did you like farm them to do that, or did you like watch them res and like? Did it just happen that way, or like, how did you get 20 so, in a squad? The best way to honestly take out a squad, if you kill two of them, and you just stay somewhere in the general hey, area and just listen. keep looking and have your squad spread out, mm -hmm. if you find that third person, and as soon as he hit those paddles, let him res his teammates and drop in on all three of them. Nice. Okay. Well, super. I'm gonna I'm gonna start doing that. 
<laughs> Mad Daz, hello. And uh, Devil's Reaper just wants to point out when you were talking about the best pop one player, he said, or Devil's Reaper Wolf. <laughs> I mean, he he is up there hey, in the best. Listen. He is in my top Oh, don't five. don't fill that cup. Don't do that. He doesn't need that. Oh, he, <laughs> hey, he is up there in my top five. <laughs> but that's just for the fact he he taught me how to push. Yeah. And how to play the game even better. Well, I do remember when uh, he jumped in with you guys and started playing, and and I know that he really enjoyed that. So. Um, I mean, it's another testament to the fact that you've got great vibes, both you and Yoshi. You guys give off great vibes. You do really well within the community, and uh, you guys really do well as a pair as well, so it's very comical. And I, I really liked playing uh, Among Us with you as well, so even though uh, I, I was, you know, afraid of you the whole time, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was more afraid of Miss Misery over there. <laughs> Right? She is she's shady in that game, man. Whew, you guys better watch out for that girl. You play Among Us with that girl. Whew. She her goal in that whole game is to pretend she's an the imposter the entire time. <laughs> she's and like, like you don't know if she is or is <laughs> I know, right? Slice. It's creepy. It's like, oh, I know. She runs around chasing you like slice, slice, slice. <laughs> creepy. Um. Oh, Whenever man. she killed me last night, she would got me once, and all I heard was slice, slice. I turned around, I'm dead. <laughs> yep, that's how hey, she does it. Listen. Well, Otterwolf, I want to thank you so much for your time being here in our Population One interview, learning more about you, your gameplay, and the content that you share with us. Um, are you going to stay on live right now and play a little bit, or are you going to take a break, go live later? Uh, I'm probably gonna get them maybe a game or two in. Okay. Yeah, because it's only uh six fifty for me. Yeah, I'll play a game okay. or two. Okay. Perfect. And then I'll probably take a break before I get over to Among Us. Okay, sounds great. Well, I want to thank you so much, and we're gonna say farewell to Otter Wolf here. Is there anything else you'd like to share before we go goodbye? Uh. Sorry about my controller randomly building. <laughs> Oh, that's okay. That happens every time with every person that we interview with. <laughs> um, I just want to give a big shout out to you, Trixie. Honestly, oh. thank you for having me here. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, uh, it's about time. I should have done it much sooner. Um, I, I'm really glad that we did it right after the uh, announcement of the name change, though. Suits you better. I like it. And uh, I look forward to more content. So uh, we're going to say... Farewell, goodbye, Otter Wolf, and uh, maybe I'll catch you later. All right. All right. See you later. See Everybody, thank you for joining me in our interview of the Tipsy Trixie Takeover. You guys are awesome as always, bringing in the love. I can't believe how many of you jumped in to say hello. I appreciate it. And uh, most importantly, uh, sharing the content of the person that I am interviewing. I appreciate that more than anything. So if you guys uh, like my content, that's the best way you can say thank you uh, is just hop over to the other people that I interview and share the same amount of love. So one of those things that I'm going to do right now is share you off to somebody who needs some love. And uh, let's go ahead and see who's live here to uh, go ahead and spread that out to. Oh, yes, yes. Very simple. You guys stay on. I'm going to send you over to another Population One creator. And uh, make sure if you stay in there, stay in there for at least, you know, three to five minutes. That helps the content creator. Make sure you guys always smash the reactions. The nice ones are the better ones, hey, just gotta say, listen. but even the uh, mad face and the sad face, that still counts as a reaction. So if you want to come in and like or unlike the uh, stream, it counts as the same number of reactions. Uh, so better yet, just go ahead and do the love symbol. If you guys haven't already liked and smashed my reactions, why not? And then uh, sharing the content, making sure other people get uh, 
that information on who is playing and more watchers in everybody's streaming lobbies. That is great. Making sure you guys are saying hello to each other in chat. You guys do a great job already. I just want to say thank you for being here. And on Thursday, I've got Riskiest Wheat scheduled for a takeover. If you guys don't know Risky, well, now is the time that you learn a little more. Thank you for joining me over on Twitch, you guys. I'm going to send you off now. Don't forget to share the love. We just talked about it. Do it. Thank you so much.